Good morning, this is the Plug Seeker. Welcome to another episode. Right, today's episode will be very interesting. Um, it's a time for out with the old and in with the new. Now, what am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about our home charger. That's right, the Plug Seeker is getting a new charger on the front of his house. And not just any charger. No, we are going to be getting a vehicle to grid charger. Now, this is otherwise known as VTG and is a relatively new technology, um, although it has been used uh, a lot in other countries like Japan. So what is vehicle to grid? Well, I'll put a link up uh, giving some more detailed information about it. But basically vehicle to grid means that you have a two-way communication between the electric car that's plugged in and the grid and the house. And the way it works is the car is left plugged in uh, when you get home and uh, through the night till the morning. And at certain times the car will be charging. Um, and at other times, especially when the grid has a, a need for charge, it allows charge to go the other way and for the battery of the car to supply a small amount of charge back to the grid. Now, as to how the finances of this work, as I understand it, it could potentially reduce uh, my electric bills slightly. Um, especially if a house has got a big demand. Um, I think it allows some of the charge to go um, to the house. But the benefits for vehicle to grid um, generally across the whole country could be massive. Now, what I would, uh, the way I would look at this is if you imagine that there was a large fleet of electric cars all around the country, all of them plugged in overnight um, to the charger, and there's a sudden peak in need, let's say, uh, Suddenly, at a certain point in time, everyone uh, switches their favourite soap off on the TV and goes and makes a cup of tea. The old uh, East Enders cup of tea uh, surge. Well, when there's a surge in demand, this can mean the turning on of extra power stations to cope with that demand. However, imagine instead you've got a large fleet of electric cars, all of which maybe give, I don't know, 2 or 3% of their battery energy back to the grid all at the same time. Well you've got a way of evening out the peaks. So what's interesting here is this is one of the uh, ways in which electric cars can actually be a benefit to the grid. Now you often hear one of the old electric car myths is, oh my goodness, if we, if we have loads of electric cars, oh, the grid's gonna explode, the grid won't be able to take it. Oh, well, I'll put a link below. Um, firstly, the UK Electric Grid have said they can absolutely cope with the uh, transition to electric cars and that it should not be a problem for the uh, electric grid. You are not gonna need another nine nuclear power stations or any of the other silly scare stories that you will hear banded around um, on the internet and in some of the media. Now, with vehicle to grid, this is one of the ways in which electric cars will actually be a benefit. So they can help even out some of those spikes in demand. Because at the end of the day, when I plug my car in at five o'clock, I want my car to be charged up to a certain point, be it 90% or 100% by the next morning. But I'm not too bothered how quickly that's done, as long as it's done by the morning. It makes no difference to me if for five or 10 minutes, uh, the grid takes a little bit of it back, that's not a problem. So I'd like to thank Ovo Energy, uh, who is my current supplier, for agreeing to include me in their vehicle to grid trial. And, and I'm really excited to be a part of it. So this morning, two very nice gentlemen from Ovo called James and Tom have already started, as of the time of this video, starting to install my vehicle to grid charger and remove the old faithful pod point charger which I've had for the last six years. Now the vehicle to grid charger is currently as I understand it only available with the Nissan Leafs who have the Chad mode connector and the connector to this charger when I'm charging will be a Chad mode connector which for those of you who are not aware these are the really meaty big chargers on the front of Nissan Leafs and is the one which we use when we are having a rapid charge. The one I had before was the old Type 1 charger, and that one will be going. Um, I suppose one very small downside of the new charger is that it only will be able to charge those cars with a Chadmo, which, as I believe, would only be Nissan Leafs and also Outlanders, I think. Uh, I, there may be one or two other cars, and uh, if there are, I'll put the details below. 
So it's only 8.30 in the morning, so I'm going to grab some coffee and some breakfast. I've already made a cup of tea and a coffee for the lads who are hard at work. And uh, I'll come back again when the charger is installed and we'll get to see the Nissan Leaf charging for the first time on a vehicle to grid charger. So I'm looking forward to that. See you in a minute. Tom, how many of these have you installed so far then? This is my fourth. Fourth one? Yeah. Got a few happy customers then already, yeah? Yeah, we've had a few. We've had the version one which came out, which had everything internally in the unit. Um, but there was a few teething problems, mostly with the conduit, so you don't want to cut too many holes, because obviously you don't want any water ingress. Yeah, yeah. So now you've got your own separate unit, all your cables coming together, and if there's any service call outs, you just go straight to the box. That's excellent. Rather than having to take the unit apart, which is good. And we expect to see a few more of these rolling out across the country now. Yeah, I think we've got 100 to do in the next three months. That's smashing, so excellent. That's great, yeah. This is all part of the first wave of the trial then, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, you're one of the first. Oh, <laughs> I feel great. Really... All right, well, I won't get in your way. Thanks very much, Tom. Cheers. Yeah, all right. So that's it, done, finished. I've got a vehicle to grid and my own personal channel in my driveway. I'd like to thank Ovo Energy for including me in their vehicle to grid trial. And a special thanks goes to the engineers, in particularly to Tom and James, who did an excellent job. And I'd like to thank you guys very much for all the hard work you did this morning. Um, you are credit to Ovo Energy. So now I look forward to using my new vehicle to grid charger and uh, we'll see how we get on. So. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to share it and please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the notifications bell here so that you get new videos as soon as I upload them. And if you did enjoy my video, please don't forget to share on Twitter, Facebook or whatever social media you use. It really helps my channel and I'll be really grateful. Thank you. So this is the Plug Seeker signing out. Happy charging everyone.